guys Ogs here from the u.s happy sunday today is sunday 29th september 2019 you know what that means 29th is tomori 9 is tummy and 19 is mason mount you know what i mean you see the connection yeah you got it buddy you got it now let's talk about the three fantastic amigos the brothers of destruction the chelsea product mad in chelsea the academy the wonderful academy the best in the world period six months ago if you've told me that Frank Lampard would be Chelsea manager and bring almost 11 players in the first team in around September 2019, I would have punched you in the face and call you a liar. But guess what? Today, it's a reality. It's happening and we have to trust the process and we have to be proud of our academy and be proud of our manager production companies are rushing a chelsea football club now to try to get a contract and make a documentary about chelsea academy because everybody understands now what the importance of having a strong academy yes in the past years we were just wasting a lot of money training great players but never made it to the first team but this time around things are really different and other teams are trying to copy chelsea because they see the reality if you give a youngster a chance he will pay you back that's what we've been seeing at chelsea football club since the beginning of the season yes chelsea kids haven't won anything so far and might not even win anything for the season but you can see the progress and being successful doesn't mean always winning trophies or titles being successful can just mean taking a young kid and making him a man and a great professional we've seen it at chelsea football club the kid who started at the age of seven today becoming men's with a lot of quality and contributing to the society so depend on how you see success success but for me chelsea academy being very successful this season and we are so proud of that so let me remind you few academy product that will probably play at certain capacity this season under frank lampard this is the list of that that's a few names that will come through my head but you can remind me of many others that i forgot about tomori christensen Riz james mason mount tammy abraham kalium haston adoy billy gilmo ruben loftus chick madsen mark gui cummings and we can even remind you of Ethan Ampadu, Casey Palmer, Easy Brown, uh, Connor Gallagher that can make it next year. Don't forget Lawrence and other youngsters from the academy. So there are so many of them. And I'm not surprised if in the next coming seasons we have the whole made in chelsea product in the starting 11. wow 
how awesome and refreshing that feels like. Moreno will never promote uh, this kind of uh, players, Conte or even Sari. Sari said in one of his latest press conference that from the academy, he will use maybe one or two players. It's on the record. If you want a proof, I can link you to the video. So don't call me a liar. But we all know that Sari doesn't like youngsters. It's clear. And Moreno and other uh, so-called top manager, they just come to the club to win. Quick fix, buy expensive and sometimes useless players and force them to win title and they take all the credit for winning and then abandon our awesome youngsters from the academy so you have to be proud of frank lampard encourage him and support him because in the future we are going to be a force so this is a message to my fellow chelsea fans it's not done yet many people made us believe that you can't win anything with the kid but we are breaking any curse and we are going to win something with the kid chelsea are always there to set up an example that's what we're doing right now believe in the process we might not win this season. We might be a laughing stock at some point, but believe in the process because the process takes time to fulfill. So, fellow Chelsea fans, please believe in the process. Forget about title and trophies right now. Give the kid a chance and they will pay you back. Thank you for watching.